Midland native Christy Cranick will take the top spot as the chairman of the Texas Railroad Commission, the agency responsible for the regulation of the oil and gas industry on which the basin thrives. But Cranick is no stranger to politics. She was elected in 2012 to the commission and is the daughter of long-serving Representative Tom Craddock. CBS 7's Matt Rist got the chance to speak exclusively with Craddock at the Midland Petroleum Club. Matt, what does this mean for the basin? Well, Tatum J for Craddock, she said today's announcement is a chance to use her Midland roots to tap into the ever changing oil and gas industry. But with hot button issues like water, seismic activity and horizontal drilling, it won't be an easy task. As an industry, we're moving so, so quickly and as an agency, we're sometimes behind in best practices, for instance, and what's really going on day to day in the industry. Midland native Christy Craddock wants to change that as chair of the Railroad Commission, working to keep up with the booming Texas oil and gas industry. 70% of our agency is oil and gas drilling. The Permian particularly, we're seeing more growth again in the past year. Um, we're up 10% even this year from last year in permits. Craddock says updating the permit process for horizontal drilling is key, but issues like seismic activity and water will also play a part. I'd say water to me is a very important issue. You didn't grow up in West Texas if you didn't think water was important. And making sure we're, I think, having fair, consistent regulations, protecting the environment where we should as well. And, and that's an interesting balancing act when you've got a lot of activity in the oil field. Craddock is already the youngest woman statewide in elected position. Though she isn't the first female head of the commission, she's still a pioneer. This industry is opening up a lot more than it used to be, and um, so there are a lot more women in it as we walk around, but it's still male-dominated, and, and that's fine. I think men, as long as, and anybody, as long as you uh, are smart and are willing to work with them, people have been very, very nice and helpful in this industry. Now the commission was recently scrutinized for a new policy not to allow media interviews with employees, often experts in their field. Craddock's office clarified that nothing will change, but the policy just requires special approval before interviews are granted. She tells me she looks forward to starting her term. Live in the studio, I'm Matt Rist, CBS 7 News.